Welcome back everyone. In this video we are going to learn about lambda expressions which allows us to create anonymous functions without needing to properly define a function using def keyword. So lambda's body is a single expression not a block of statements. So we will break down a lambda expression by deconstructing a function. For example we take a example of square of numbers. So I am going to define a function named square and argument will be num and then I will write result equals num of star star 2 so this will uh, do the square and then return the result I will print the square of let's say 2 so when I print it it will give 4 so if I want to reduce the line I will simply delete this line and just return num star star 2 so this will give the same output as 4 now if still I want to reduce the line I will make it like this and this will give the same output now let's see how lambda expression is useful so I am going to write square of num equals I am going to write lambda and then num of num star star 2 and I'll just print the square of num and then I will write 4 so let's see the square of 4 is 16 so it is giving the same output so you can see in a single expression we have done the square of number so let's take another example of even number it will check whether the number is even or not so let's write even equals to lambda and then I'll write x and then x percentage 2 equals equals 0 so it will check if the remainder is 0 it is an even number so I'll print even of 3 so let's see the output so it's saying it's false it's not even so let's say I'm going to write 6 and then I'll print it it is saying it is true now let's take another example by just printing the first character of the string so I'm going to write first job equals and then lambda and then let's say s and then s of 0 so this will return the 0th zero eighth character that is the first character and then I am going to print the first of let's say hello so it will print the value of first character that is h so now let's take another example of reversing a string so let's say reverse rev equals lambda then I am going to write s of s then minus 1 so it will reverse the string so let's print reverse of hello world so let's print it so you can see it is printing in the reverse order so you can also set more than one argument in lambda expression so let's see the example to add two numbers so I'm going to write add then lambda and then I'm going to write x comma y so this will take two arguments and then I will just simply add it x plus y and then I'll print add of let's say 10 comma 20 so it will print 30 so you can see how the lambda expression is very useful 